Hello everyone, welcome to Frame 316 Media. If you are new here, this channel is all about helping you grow your brand with video. So if you're looking for tips and techniques and tools on creativity and video design and on the web, you are on the right channel. My name is Robert and I post videos that would help you be more creative and enjoy your journey in creating content on social media and on the web. In this video, I'm going to talk about 5 editing techniques for beginners. So if you're just starting to edit your video, this video is perfectly fit for you. So stay tuned and I'm going to break it down one by one to you. And the principles that I'm going to be talking about is applicable whatever software you're using. But I'm going to be demonstrating it on Premiere Pro. And um, you can either use Filmora, iMovie, or... Uh, movie maker you know all, all those other softwares the same principle applies so stay tuned and this video is coming up after this So I'm on my Premiere Pro right now. Again, this is not a Premiere Pro uh, editing video. I'm going to talk about uh, principles of editing techniques that you can use whatever video editing software you're using right now. So you're not limited to Premiere Pro because this is uh, uh, focuses on techniques and it doesn't focus on um, tools that are only available on Premiere Pro. So right now, uh, whatever software you're using, you probably have this uh, project demo screen, which I have right now, which is basically, you know, I have a few files here that I'm going to be used for demonstrating. So I have a video, I have this uh, sequence, and I have a couple of music here. So I'm going to talk about what you can do as a beginning editor. You know, you don't need to rush things. Uh, remember this, when you're uh, doing video editing, you don't need to rush things. Uh, what's important is that you would uh, you can enjoy the process of editing. So right now, the first tip that I'm going to be talking about is about the intro. So you would notice on YouTube, you would see a lot of those fancy intros, but uh, you can actually do, you know, a bit of a fancy stuff. So I'm going to just push this over to the right. So I'm working right now on my timeline. This is what you call the timeline. So any video editing software that you're using, you would have this uh, same timeline. So right now, I'm just gonna grab one of my music. Let's try what we have here. Okay, so this is a boom, boom, boom. So I have like a bit of a groove. So I'm just gonna grab a few seconds, let's say coming from the beginning and I'm just gonna get it around six seconds and i'm gonna get that part of the clip and just drag it here on my timeline so right now what i have here is you know this is basically an intro for any video that you're using so let's uh, watch this so the first tip that i'm gonna um, tell you is uh, find a way how you can sync graphics in the groove of your video. So in this case, I'm just going to be playing this. And in Premiere Pro, the, the way to add, to add markers is to press the M on my keyboard. So you need to find on your software how to create a marker on your clip. So I'm just going to play this. And while I'm playing this, um, the part that I need a marker, I will just uh, add by uh, pressing letter M on my keyboard. Okay, so if I can zoom in here, if I can show you this part here, you would notice this keyframe. So this is what I'm talking about. So as a beginning editor, uh, it would help you a lot to understand how to create keyframes and then just syncing, you know, bits and pieces of your intro. So let's do a very basic text intro for this. Uh, how I do it is I'm going to create a text, a simple text on my screen right now. Let's say this video is called daily video tips. You know, just very basic stuff. This is not a tutorial on how to make your videos look good because I want to focus on uh, you know, how you can be more creative even if you're just starting. So if I'm just going to zoom in here again and I drag this text here. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be aligning my playhead on the first uh, marker and I'm just gonna cut this and I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go forward to another marker. So basically what I'm doing on, on Premiere Pro is I am creating different instances of the text for every uh, marker on my timeline. So if I can basically see this, you don't need to have you know, advanced skills in animation, but you would be able to create you know, something very interesting and not simple. Okay, daily video tips. Presented by. So when you watch this, okay, you see that it sinks in my. Okay, let's say, let's just use my brand name, <laughs> Frame Three Sixteen, and then. It's gonna bring this to the middle and then the last part would be let's say for beginners so as you can see I just use a very basic uh, font intro I mean you can drop in your logos you just try to find out how you can do that on your video editing software but this is how it looks like see uh, it has that bit of a sync on the music so I have a very basic intro here and it's up to you how you can really expand this and next I want to talk about audio level so let's say I'm gonna bring in my videos here so normally you know using the markers again you would want to start where the markers is located so if I'm gonna let's say I'm just gonna push this here closer so that we don't have that much gap just gonna save this and once i play this from the beginning okay so um this video is in filipino because uh, this is one of the projects that i am working on right now but you don't need to worry about that we're not gonna try to understand what i'm saying on this video so what we're gonna be doing here the second tip is make sure your audio levels are in place so i've seen a lot of beginning of video editors what uh what they would do is you know because it's so easy to cut they would just cut the vid the, the audio you know where the video with the person that's speaking where it's gonna start so it Usually, they would look like this. See, there's like uh, that very, you know, un, un very awkward cut. So, make sure your audio levels are in place. So, the idea is, once you have your video starting, you don't need to cut your uh, audio background, um, what they call this, um, like abruptly. So, what I would do here is I would find a way to start reducing my audio levels even before the video clip would start so in premiere pro i would just basically go to this control where i can start dropping the audio so now that i'm here this is the part where i'm going to be bringing this to a comfortable level that would just make it sound like i have you know background music i would usually go like uh, negative 22 so again depending on the software that you're using the idea is make sure you have started to reduce your audio okay before the main video starts uh, playing so if you would notice I don't know if you can hear this on the screen recording but let me just uh, bring this up a bit negative 19 okay let's try this Okay, so that's my second tip. Make sure your audio levels are in place. Now let's go to transitions. You know, uh, when I say uh, when I talk about transitions, let's say I want to jump into this uh, second clip here, which I have where I'm showing what my friend is holding right now. So I'm just gonna be doing a simple cut here, and let's say after you know talking about random things here i want to jump 
to this part here. So this is how it looks like. Okay, so when I talk about transition, it talks about the transition on the video and on the audio. So right now, I would need a transition on my audio, but I am not going to do that because... Um, I mean, it's not important to what I'm showing right now, but my idea right now is let me just take out this uh, secondary video. Is if you're going to add a transition, whatever transition you're going to be using in Premiere Pro, I'm just going to go to my effects and find my, let's say, uh, push, you know, where this is one of my favorite effects. So, you know, you have to find a way how you add those transitions. So, after I added a push on my video, this is how it looks like. You see that? Um, so my tip for you is if you want something punchy, if you want something really you know, interesting and engaging and not too dragging, make sure those transitions are really very snappy and quick. So how I do that in Premiere Pro is I'm going to just select that transition and bring them closer together. So basically, this is how it works in other video editing software. Just find you know, your transition area and find a way to reduce that so that it would move faster like this. Okay, something like that. You know, it makes... It makes your uh, videos more interesting. And again, this doesn't require you to be an expert. You know, if you're just beginning your uh, video editing journey, uh, this is very important to learn. And now, let's go to my fourth tip. Hey, this is another thing that I keep seeing on new ved video editors is that, you know, the contrast of their font is really, really good. Bad. Okay, so let, let's let's talk about that. Okay, let's say I'm going to write here uh, photography. Okay, because this is what we're talking about. And let's try to find, like, let's say Arial. Arial, okay. So I'm going to do Arial regular. And just going to try to make this bigger. And bring it to the top. Okay, so once I'm editing this, as you can see on my screen, you know, the contrast is a bit okay because we are on a big screen right now. But remember, when you're watching videos, it can go as small as, let me go, small as this on a device, you know, a smartphone, and something like this. So make sure uh, your font would have that specific contrast so what is contrast so contrast is how you separate the brights and the darks of your visuals so it can be a photo or it can be a video but the main principle here is make sure like for example if you're going to be using fonts like let's try like this so i've seen a lot of video editors would you know i don't know Probably they think making fancy fonts like this make their videos look amazing, probably at some level. But again, uh, the fonts that you're using, should it be, uh, is it readable? So my suggestion is, you know, use bold fonts when you, when you add the font on your videos as overlay, something like this. And you can add, you know, just basic shadows like what I'm doing here. Just to get that bit of separation. And in some cases, you would need to add, let's say, a shape underneath your text. Let's just use a very simple uh, black shape. So again, di different ways of doing this. But the principle is try to find a way where you can add a shape on your text like what i'm doing right now so you know you can play around with the style as long as the reader would you know see you know that there's a text right there on your video so you know in this style, I mean, that would give me, this is the contrast that I'm talking about. That's very clear. It's very sharp. You know, the, the viewer would understand what are the text that you're showing on your screen. So make sure whatever font you're going to be using, uh, remember to always have 
contrast. Okay, next is the B roll. So what I'm talking about the B roll is um, right now, let's say I have a couple of shots. This shot here. But, you know, what you can do is add a few more B-rolls. Well, B-rolls are called, are basically, you know, the extra footage that you put on top of your video. So, I have a few samples here, like, okay, this, I have a graphic here. This is related to what we're doing. So, probably I would, you know, want to insert something here. And, of course, you would want to... Uh, adjust the size of your you know clips so that's related to what we're talking about because we are in the merlion in singapore and i can you know after a few seconds of talking about this let's say topic then i can jump and add in another you know um footage here you know and again I would just have to resize this to fit my screen like so. So those are just basic, you know, principles that you can start using if you're just beginning editor. This doesn't require, you know, advanced skills. So let's do a recap first. Try to create markers on your music when you're starting your video. That would give you like this really, uh, really you know, fancy. Uh, intros even if it's just a simple text like this and then your audio transition before you start talking make sure your audio levels are already on the way down okay and then third make your transitions fast and snappy and fourth make sure there's enough contrast on your font And lastly, try to use supporting footage to make your shots really interesting. So yeah, that's my very basic uh, tip for today. So five uh, video editing techniques for beginners. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this episode. And if you have any questions, please don't forget to put it on the uh, comment section below. And I would appreciate if you would subscribe or uh, and hit the notification bell so you wouldn't miss out on videos like this in the future. So see you in my next videos.